Okay, hi everyone. Okay, good morning to everyone. Huh? So today after the holiday, this one is the first lesson for your physics. Okay, can listen from me or not? Okay, hello. Okay, got 23 students is watching now. Can listen for me? Okay, morning. So I just share my screen first. Huh? Okay. Okay, can listen me? Can listen me, that means I can start my lesson ready. Okay. Yes. Okay, morning, Siliang. Okay, can I join? Okay, we start our lesson for the last part for the specific Latin heat. Okay, this is the last part. Uh. So that means I need to complete this topic for this lesson. Uh. Okay, so we go through. So I think the module I already upload in the Google Classroom. Then the student, hopefully you can go to download. Go to download. After that, can do some of the exercise from there. Okay. Okay, good morning. Eh? So we got 33 students watching now. Okay, only got 33 eh? because I got two classes. Okay, so we just don't waste the time. We go to start the <coughs> specific Latin heat. Okay, today the lesson is 4.3. Okay, still the same title, specific Latin heat, but this one is a series number two. Okay, so we go through to see what is that. So this one is um almost seem like the specific heat capacity because they want to prove they want to prove the capacity for the aluminium block and also the liquid. Is it what's different with the actual value? So specific Latin heat also said they also want to test. Uh, the fusion, specific Latin here of fusions uh, of the ice. Okay, we do the experiment. We want to compare with the actual value. Is it the value is a big difference or not? Then we need to explain why they become like this. Okay, let's see the uh, aim for this one experiment. Okay, they want to determine the specific Latin heat of fusion of the ice. Remember, okay, Latin heat separate by two. One is a fusion. Another one is a verbalization. Fusion is we can using for two parts. You can say melting, you can say freezing, but you need to uh, add one more word, absorb the heat and also release the heat. When you melt, you sure absorb heat. When you want to freeze back, so you release the heat. So from here, we need to test is absorb the heat. Okay, we need to melt the ice. So from here, we're using the immersion heater. Okay, immersion heater is a 12 volt, 24 watt. Then we're using two beaker. Then retort stand and also with the clamp, power supply, two filter funnel and also triper bin balance and ice. Okay, let's see here. The diagram, we set by two set. One we call control set. Another one is an experiment set. Okay, so from here, the student will ask <clears throat> why we need to set two set. Okay, why we need to set two set. Okay, you can see what's the difference for these two diagram. Okay, both also got heater, is it? But the control set is no power supply. Only the experiment set, they got power supply. Okay, the reason is what? The reason is, they just want the ice melt from the surrounding heat. Okay, for the control set. Okay, this one is the first part. So that means the exactly the arrangement you do exactly the same. The heater you still put in, but you never join power supply. So that means later the ice melt from the control set. That's a from the heat surrounding. Okay, <clears throat> you see the experiment set. Experiment set sure. The ice will melt more than the control set because they got two heat provided. First, from the surroundings. Number two, from the power supply heater. 
okay so that means later we do the experiment finally the answer the mass when it just melt we don't want the ice melt because of surrounding heat okay we don't want we just want the ice melt because of the heater so that's why later the mass from the bigger uh, experiment set we need to minus control set okay we just want to find out the ice melt by the heater okay the time you go to set is how many so we can find about the latent heat of fusions lah. okay we just assume we don't have any heat loss to the surrounding because we already minus okay so from here we go through to the uh, procedure you can see the diagram like this lah. this one is the ice then you using the funnel then using the beaker then they got heater okay this one is a heater so from here procedure so arrangement apparatus show in the diagram okay you can round at first both the beaker are not placed under the filter funnel okay we're starting don't put the beaker first because you need to wait the ice when it just melt continuously we do want one drop then you wait then you one drop then you wait we let the ice they start to melt continuously then we put the beaker so that means we're starting maybe you put the tower first lah okay so number two they say you switch on switch on the power supply for the set one and wait until the water flow from the filter funnel at a steady rate okay steady rate so from here when it's just steady rate okay then you place the beaker lock. now beaker one and beaker two you also put okay under the funnel okay so now you can start the stopwatch okay when it just flow continuously so you start your stopwatch okay switch off the power supply after five minutes so that means the process we just take five minutes okay remove the beaker record the reading of the mass of the water collected in the experiment set m1 and also the control set m2 okay both beaker you also need to measure what is the mass okay now we're going to see the result okay after five minutes mass of the water collected from the experiment set sure more like is it because there's a, a heater and also surrounding heat so we get it 0 0.0312 okay for the control set we just get 0 0.0101 okay so this one is an example for the experiment so the power just now we're using how many the power uh 24 watts so we're using 24 watts and also the time taken remember the time taken you need to convert becomes second okay because we need to do the calculation in si unit so from here we just convert multiply 60 so become 300 second okay the first one analyzing we need to find the ice only melt by the heater so we need to minus agree yeah so we take m1 minus m2 so we get it the answer is 0 0.0211 kilogram so this one 0 0.0211 kilogram means what means the mass of the ice only melt by the heater okay we just uh minus the the ice melt by the surrounding heat okay so we get it this one is a mass just uh, exactly melt by the heater so from here what we need to calculate sure we need to calculate the latent heat of fusions so from here heat supply okay we assume heat supply or transfer go to the latent heat absorbed by the ice okay we put equal so after that we can write the formula q equal ml q is a heat energy so from here from this part we're using power supply so q we just convert become pt okay pt yeah so from here pt equal ml so from here we just apply all the thing in okay i need to find is the l so from here i need the student to help me to find what is the l okay what is the l so you take out your calculator to show me how to calculate the l latent heat of fusions of the ice okay so all the info is here already you just put in okay you just put in after that you tell me what is the latent heat of fusions 
Okay, remember the unit lah. Okay, remember the unit. That's a don't have any uh degree Celsius. They only joule per kilograms. Okay, so anybody can give me the answer. Okay, so you can just apply all the thing in. P is how many from the table? Then the T you must use in the SI unit. Then the M is how many? M must use it after the minus M. Okay, the mass after you go to minus the mass of the surrounding heat. Then you calculate what's the L. Okay, so anybody here can give me the answer. Okay, we just wait the student. Okay, wow, so long the number. Okay, Celia already give me. Okay, three, four, one. Oh, so long. Huh? Okay, actually you can cut it. Okay, actually you can cut it. So you just put two decimal point is okay. Okay, we go to check. Okay, suppose you take 24, multiply 300, then this one is a mass, then you multiply the LF, latent heat of fusions. Then final answer, you need to divide. So we get it, okay? You can put in two decimal point, after that put in standard form. Because standard form, we can see very clear. Okay, we get it to uh, 3.41, 3.41 times 10 power of 5 joule per kilograms. Okay, joule per kilogram. Uh. Okay, after that, this one is a latent heat of fusions. Okay, now we need to continue to do the experiment. Latent heat of Weberlizations. Okay, it's the same thing. But now you need to heat up. Okay, you need to heat up because they want to boil the water. So from here, let's see this part. Okay, 4.3, they want to find the latent heat of Weberlization of the water. So they're using power immersion heater. The power must be higher lah, because you want to boil the water. So bigger electronic balance, water, tissue paper, and also the stopwatch. Okay, so from here, you see this one experiment B. They don't have any control set. Okay, why they no need using the control set? Because you can think about that. The heat absorbed from the surrounding Actually, they cannot boil the water. Or not. They only can melt the ice. Boil water, you must 100 degrees Celsius. So that's why they no need to care about the outside heat. Okay? They no need to care about the outside heat can heat the water. So they ignore. Lah. No need using the control set. And straight forward using the experiment set. Okay, they're wrapping the tissue paper. Sure, they want to prevent the heater heat loss to the surroundings. Okay? They prevent the loss. Okay, so from here, we see the procedure. Switch on the immersion heater and wait until the water boil. Okay, you need to wait until boil. When the water just start to boil, you start the stopwatch. Okay, they never boil, don't start first. Okay, we need to start when they just boil, they become the gas, then you start the stopwatch. Okay, at the same time, you also start the electronic balance. Recorded, recorded M1 is how many? When it just start to boil. Okay, after five minutes, you just let the water to boil for five minutes. Then you record the reading again for the M2. Okay, the mass. Okay, after they boil for five minutes. Okay, now you switch off the heater. Now you record. So from here, we see the table, what we need to record it. Okay, first one is the initial readings. Lah. So that means when they just start to boil. Uh, start to boil is the initial readings. So we get it, there's a 0 0.4246 kilograms. So after five minutes, five minutes already, then you stop the stopwatch, is it? Uh, sorry, uh, stop the stopwatch. Uh, sorry, no stopwatch. You just stop the uh, heater, okay? Because five minutes already, you stop the heater. So now you straightforward go to measure the mass, 0 0.3621. So from here, you can see they become less ready because some of the water already boiled. Okay, it become the gas. So from here, the time taken, we're using 5 minutes. So still 300 seconds. Power supply, we're using 500 watts. Okay, so what we need to calculate, we calculate the mass, okay, for the water become gas is how many. 
So we're using the formula mass of the water that boil to become the steam. Okay, we're using M1 minus M2. So we get it. Okay, 0 0.0325 already hilang. Okay, they become gas already. So important, we need this one, mass lah. This one, mass, we're using to calculate the latent heat of verbalizations. Okay, now heat supply, we assume all absorbed by the water. So from here, Q equal ML, PT equal ML. So what you need to do is you need to find the L now. The L is stand for verbalizations of the water. Okay, so all the calculations should be the same. Just you need to find out big number for the verbalization. So remember, uh, verbalizations norm is higher than the fusions. Okay, why? Because they need to overcome the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so Silang give me the answer already. 4.62 power of 6. Okay, we go to fill in. 500 multiply 300. The mass, I get it. Oh, yeah, the mass, I think I take the wrong mass, is it? 0 0.325. Ah, suppose 0 0.325. Okay, I do some calculation first. Okay, 0 0.325, yeah. Okay, I do some calculation, 325. Okay, is 0 0.325, then it all wrong already lah. I need to show. Okay. Okay, I do my calculation first. Huh? See correct or not? 0 0.4246 minus 0 0.3621. 625, yeah, this one is wrong. Sorry, eh? this part is wrong. The rest is correct. Okay, see then you calculate again. Okay, I give the wrong answer for this part. Uh, yeah, this one calculation is wrong already. This one should be 0 0.0625. Okay, so Silang, you calculate again. 0 0.0625. Uh, yeah, after I calculate 0 0.0625. So after that, you calculate again for this answer. Okay, so this one is 0 0.0625 multiply the LV. Okay, it's 2.4, huh? So from here, we get it 2.4 power of 6. Just now, you remember the answer from Celia. That's a power of 5. This one is power of 6. So that means the verbalization should be higher than the fusions. Okay? Oh, yeah, Sabrina is here. Okay, so this one should be the answer for the uh, verbalizations. Okay, now we're going to see the discussion. Okay, why does a control set that needed to prepare for the experiment A, but they no need for the experiment B? Okay, this one is just now the question I asked for you. So we're going to see what is the answer. Okay, so the first one they say in the experiment setup. Okay, the ice, the melt, absorbing the heat from the immersion heater and also surrounding. Uh, this one is a setup experiment. But for the control set, they want to use to determine the mass of the ice that melt by the heat from the surroundings. Okay, so different things are uh, experiment set and control set. So from here, finally, the mass of the ice melt by the heat from the immersion heater only can be determined. Okay, if we don't have any control set, that means when we do the calculation, we cannot get the exactly the mass just mapped by the, so we need control set. So experiment B, why we don't need the control set? The control setup is not required for the experiment B because the surrounding heat cannot be used to boil the water. So they're just not related, okay? The heat you just provided, you just maybe 40 degrees Celsius. You also cannot boil the water. Right? So that's why we're only using the control set for the experiment B. Okay, we see the question number two. Okay, given the specific latent heat of fusion, 3.34, okay, 3.34 uh, times 10 power of 5. 
Compare the value for the latent heat of fusion, the ice we obtained from the experiment A, with the value given. Explain the difference between the two values. So from here, this one is just now what we get it. 3.41 times 10 power of 5. You can do the comparison. We get the answer is higher. Okay, a bit more than the actual value. Okay, they ask you why become like this. Okay, the answer is, the value of the specific latent heat of fusion of the ice is higher than the standard value because some of the heat supplied by the heater is lost to the surrounding. Okay, so when the heat just lost, that means <coughs> the ice then melt become less. Agreed. So the heat you lost to the surrounding, the mass become less understood. The latent will become higher. Remember, the mass and the latent is inversely proportional. <coughs> so, excuse me. So, what we need to do, you need to get the actual value. So, you need to using the heater. The power should be higher. So, that means you just reduce the heat loss. So, you're using a high power. That means you reduce the... <coughs> excuse me first. Huh? I'm going to drink the water. <clears throat> so that means the heater when it just supply to the ice so they will lost to the surrounding so from here we just need to explain why the actual value we get higher important is uh, the heat loss to the surroundings so heat loss to the surroundings so what you can reduce this one situation the first one, maybe you said you can, using the polystyrene, you do the experiment in a closed, uh, closed room, anything also like this. But the important, you can make the heater, okay? You can increase the heat from the heater, okay? That means you can reduce the, uh, you cannot reduce the heat loss to the surrounding. You just can increase the heater heat, okay? After that, you can map the ice is more. Okay, so this is a one of the thing how we go to get it. Okay, so from here, important that uh, the keyword is heat loss. Heat loss to the surrounding from heater. So that's why we cannot get the perfect answer. Okay, number two also is the same thing. They say verbalization is 2.26, but we get it is a 2.4, more a bit from the actual. So the answer is still the same. The value we more a bit. Why? Because some of the heat supplied by the heater lost to the surroundings. Okay? So this one is a one of the answer how we go to reply. Lah. When they just say why we get cannot get the actual. So you need to answer is a heat loss to the surroundings when we do the experiment. Okay? We cannot get the perfect heat uh, from the experiment. We sure we lost some of the heat. Okay, so this one same like the specific heat capacity the experiment. The reason also is the same. Okay, why we get the answer higher because the heat loss. Okay, now we see the changes phase of the water. Okay, first you can see the ice, ice in the so from here you can see the ice they start to melt. If you just left the ice there lah, they start to melt. So the ice molecule they absorb the latent heat. Remember, absorb the heat when you want to melt. So from here, this one we saw, we just say solid become liquid. Okay, second part. I go to heat the water. Okay, I go to heat the water. So when the water just start to boil, okay, water start to boil. So the water molecule they will absorb, absorb again, uh, latent heat of verbalizations. Okay, because you start to boil. Okay, this one is change the phrase, liquid become the gas when you start to boil. Okay, you can see this part. Third part, I off the fire. Okay, the stove, I go to off already. So you can find out, you got some of the vapor on the cover of the container. So this one is, when the water vapor condenses, the water vapor molecule they will release the latent heat of verbalizations so you can see the name is the same just one is absorbed another one is a release so this part is the phrase from the gas convert become liquid okay you must very clear which part is the absorb which part is a release 
Okay, now this one is an example. From the ice become the water, we call it as a melting. So this one is a latent heat of fusion absorbed. So if I continue for the absorbed, there's a latent heat of verbalization. Okay, you can see there's a boiling. Before that, we're talking about boiling, is it? If I don't want you using the boiling, we can say about the evaporation. Uh, evaporations. Evaporation is a one of the thing also is a latent heat absorbed. But this one is a verbalization. But this one is under 100 degrees Celsius. Example for your sweat. After you exercise, you got sweating, is it? So the sweat that can be evaporate. Okay, when it just evaporate, they also is changes the frame. The liquid, they become the gas. Okay, we also can call it as a verbalization absorbed. But this one is under boiling point. Okay, they're not... Uh, exactly the boiling point uh, is boiling point we call it as a boiling already but this one only evaporations okay so from here it's like the ballet come back okay when i just come back evaporation that's the gases come back become the liquid we call this condensations condensation still latent heat of the oh i think this one is verbalizations huh? oh some of the tapping okay i got to change back huh? so this one is a verbalizations Okay, verbalization, sir. So if the student later the mistake, so I go to change. Okay, so you can see clear. Okay, so okay, this part. Okay, sorry, yeah, for typing wrong. Okay, latent heat of verbalization. This one is a release. Okay, release. So when it just go back from the liquid, one to Freeze become the ice. We call it as a freezing. That's a latent heat of fusion released. So you can see the bottom part normally all is a released. Okay. When it just using the heat one, there's an absorbed. So from here, you can see the sentence here. Absorption, the latent heat during melting and evaporation can be used to give the effect of cooling. So you need to understand this question. Why melting and evaporation? You can say cooling. Okay, this one we're talking about melting. Melting, what you're doing? You absorb the heat. Yes or no? Evaporation, you also absorb the heat, is it? When you just absorb the heat surrounding, what happened? The surrounding become cool. Okay, just like example, the can of the drinks, canned drinks, Coca-Cola, the Pepsi, you go to buy. After that, you want to make it keep cooling. So normally, you put for the ice box. Okay, you want to bring for the picnic, for the party. You put in the ice box. So that means the ice, they will melt. In the ice box, they sure will melt. When it just melt, what happened? The melt, that means the surrounding heat become cooled down. Because they absorb the heat. Nah? They absorb the surrounding heat, then the ice melt already. So surrounding heat, how? Cool down. So cool down, that means your drink, they will keep in the cool temperature. Okay, so this one is a one of the things. After melting, after evaporation, you find the surrounding become less temperature. Example, you exercise. After you exercise, you, you find your body become cool down because some of the sweating already evaporate. Evaporate means what? They absorb the heat from your body. Okay, absorb the heat from your body. That means your heat from your body become less ready. Lah. Okay, so you find it, you feel cool down. The temperature is a feel, a same. Ah. Temperature never change one because it's a, so your body temperature still the same. Okay, still 37. Okay, but the heat released from your body. Okay, when evaporations. Okay, for the ballet also same. Lah. The ballet is a latent heat release. During the condensation, however, it's used to purpose for heating. When condensation, they can use for heating. Example, you want to steam the uh, food. Okay, you want to steam the fish, steam the bow. Okay, so that means when the water just hot. Okay, normally you steam something, you close the cover, is it? You close the lid, is it? So that means when they just steam, okay, they absorb all the heat, they go to steam. Okay, after that, the condensation. Condensation means they want to release release the heat release the heat go where must go to the food lah is it because you close already man you cannot go other ways so when it just release the heat 
on the food, that means your food can be cooked faster. Okay, so that means when condensation actually surrounding is very hot because you release the heat. So that means when it just open, you just open the lid, so you find the gas when it just come out is very, very hot because they release the heat. Okay, so this one is a one of the thing you need to understand. Okay, melting and also evaporation, the effect is cooling for the surroundings. Okay, if webalize uh, is there's a condensation, so you find the surrounding they become heating. Okay, so we go through to the next part. Okay, this one is a, one of the activity they using the beaker, drinking straw, white till after that the alcohol and water. So you see what they're doing. They put one hundred ml for the alcohol in the beaker. Now they go to touch. Okay, touch the outside of the beaker and the water around the base of the beaker. So they record the observations. Okay, now they go to blow, blow, blow the alcohol. Okay, number four, they go to touch, <clears throat> touch outside of the picker. Then they record all the observations. Okay, now we're going to see some of the question. Okay, what happened to the alcohol when the air is blown into it? Okay, the alcohol in the picker, then you're using the straw, you go to blow. So they said it, alcohol will faster evaporate. Okay, one of the things, there's a one wind, that means when the alcohol just touching, they're faster to evaporate compared to the water. Okay, so alcohol, when it just blow, that means you help the alcohol to faster to evaporate, become the vapor. Okay, so this one is a one of the things, alcohol and water, what's the differences? Latin heat difference. Okay, compare the level of the coolness of the pickle before and after the A blow. Okay, so before blow, the coolness how? Using the temperature, go to detect. Like before you blow, you go to put the thermometer in. So you go to record the readings. After you blow, you also go to record the readings. So after you blow means evaporate already. Evaporate means what? Evaporate means the heat already absorbed. Heat absorbed, that means surrounding become cool down. So from here, we find it, the beaker is cooler after the a blow in the alcohol so when the alcohol evaporate then the molecule will absorb the specific latent heat of verbalization from the surroundings they absorb the heat from the surrounding so in order they want to break the bond between the molecule there's a liquid they want to break the bond become vapor so from here they absorb the heat from the surrounding so now the surrounding how they losses the heat so when it just losses the heat, means now the alcohol temperature will drop. Okay, now state the effect for the evaporation. Okay, the evaporation, the effect is that can cause surrounding become cooling. Okay, this one we call evaporations. Okay, remember uh, evaporation, although they absorb the heat, but the surrounding will become cooled out. Condensations. They want to cool down, is it condensation, but then release the heat, but the surrounding, they become heating up. Okay, we can see some of the application for just now what I go to explain. Okay, drink can be cooled by adding some of the several cubes of the ice. So we need to explain why. Okay, when the ice just melt, okay, remember the ice just melt, they absorb the heat. Okay, absorb the heat from the where surrounding. Now the surrounding is what? The drinks lah. So from here, the drink lost the heat and the temperature decreases. Okay, so this one we call it when they just melt, they changes the phrase. Okay, they changes the phrase. So after that, they make the surrounding, the temperature drop. <clears throat> okay, number two. You can say about the fish or the, uh, you buy the fish or the prawns or you keep inside the ice box. Okay, so this one, this one can keep the freshness. So the freshness of the fish and also the meat <clears throat> can be maintained by placing them into the contact with the ice. Why like this? Okay, the explanation is the same. <clears throat> okay, you need to say about the ice has larger specific latent heat. Okay, ice are uh, larger specific latent heat means they can absorb 
large amount of heat. <coughs> okay, excuse me. If the largest specific latent heat, that means they can absorb surrounding large amount of the heat. So they absorb the heat from where? From the fish, from the meat. So that means now your fish and also your meat is cool down because all the heat already absorbed by the ice. Okay, so therefore the temperature of the fish will be dropped. Okay, then your ice sure become melt, la, is it? Slowly, slowly and melt. La. But your fish and also the meat, they will keep freshness. Keep in low temperature. So therefore the fish can be kept at the low temperature for longer time. Oh, no, Kai Kwan Loop Block. No, Kai Kwan, where you come, uh? where you come back. Uh? Okay, so we continue to the another applications. So this one, steam is used to cook the food. Uh, the Bali, just now you want to melt, now I want to cook. So you want to cook means water also has a larger specific latent heat of verbalization. Means what? Means they can release more heat, like, is it? Just now they can absorb more heat. So for the verbalization, now it's a condenser. So they will release more of the heat. So when the steam uh, condenses on the fish, the latent heat of the verbalization, they will release direct to the fish. Condenser. You boil already the water, then the water becomes the gas, then the gas wants to condense. Okay, condensation back become liquid. So they will release large amount of the heat. So release go to where? Direct to the food. Lah. So from here, they enable the fish to be cooked faster by using steam, lah, not by using the water to cook it. Lah. Okay, so this one is uh, application. we using the latent heat fusion and also verbalizations. Okay, you can see some of the diagram here. This one is about the steam. You want to steam the food? Normally, we're using the wrapper, go to steam the food. Okay, this one is why the burn due to the steam is more serious than the burn due to the hot water only. Okay, you can see here, when you just open the lid, okay, the hot soup in the pot, you just open the lid, all the gas to come out, is it? When the gas just scanner your skin, you feel injured. Okay, because the gas, when you're just touching for your skin, they start to condense. When they start to condense, they release the heat to where? To your skin. No? So that's why you feel very pain. Okay, so from here, they explain water also has a larger specific latent heat of verbalizations. When steam condenses on the skin, so large amount of the heat is released to the skin. So that's why they can call about the serious injured. So some say, I never touched the water, but why I can injured? Because of the gas. The gas is high. A very very high temperature so when they just want to condense they release the heat so go where go to your hand no? so that's why you feel very pain okay this one is another thing why your body feel cool after sweating so this one is about the evaporations so the sweat on the body evaporate when it just evaporate they absorb the specific latent heat of fusion from the body so that means they want to release, they evaporate. That means from the liquid, they want to con, uh, want to evaporate, become the vapor, become the gas. So they absorb the heat from where? From our body. So as a result, our body will cool, but never by the heat. So remember, temperature same. Huh? Our body, the temperature never drop. Because this one not capacity, this one is a latent heat. They only change the phrase. When they change the phrase, they get the heat from your body. So that means you feel your body is cool down, but the temperature is still the same. Okay, so this one's another uh, the application for the latent heat. Okay, now we're going to see some of the example. This one, I think from your textbook, you get it. Uh, for the cooling system in the refrigerator. Okay, we start by the compressor. After that is number two is a condenser. Okay, number three is an expansion valve. Then after that, four is a freezer. And the last one, there's a cooling agent. Okay, we're going to see more detail about this one. Okay, this one is uh, at the back, uh, at the back of the refrigerator. So we're going to see the first part, there's a compressor, uh, compressor first. Uh. 
Okay, compressor. Compressor at the bottom. Okay, compressor recompresses the cooling agent. Okay, you see uh, when starting using the cooling agent, it's a gas. Okay, we're using the gas to increase the pressure at its temperature. So that means you need to compress the gas first, make the gas become high pressure and also high temperature. Okay, now we go through number two. Okay, the gas start to flow. Okay, start. now we see number two, part two, condenser part. Now in the condenser cooling agent, just now you go to compress the cooling agent, then release latent heat during condensations. Remember condensations? Condensation means the gas will become liquid. Gas become liquid means they will release the heat. Okay, release the heat. Now the gas that will change become liquid. Cooling agent just now from the compressor, when it just come out, they become condensed. When it just condensed, they become the liquid. Now we can say the cooling agent become liquid. Lah. So you can see all the red color part, this one, the liquid will start to flow. Okay, after the condenser coin. Okay, so condenser just help to change the cooling agent become liquid. Okay, now the cooling liquid will up, up until expansion valve. So you see number three. Okay, now the cooling agent is a liquid. Eh? They flow through to the expansion valve. This one valve has a tiny hole. The hole very small, which allow the liquid at a high pressure is ejected into the evaporator tube. Okay, this one will pass through the evaporator tube, the blue color tube. Okay, after that, which at the lower pressure, liquid chain become the gas. So when starting the red color, all is a high pressure. After the expansion valve, you go in the evaporator part. This part will have the low pressure. Okay, evaporate, evaporate. They want to change about the liquid, become the gas. Okay, then this one gas, they want to make it become low pressure. So when it just go in the evaporator tube, uh, we can say evaporable coil uh, they become gas, okay? They come back, become gas. So from this part outside, the red color part, only high temperature. When they just go back, go to evaporator coin, they become cool down again. So they become gas again, okay? They become gas again and also low pressure. So remember this part, uh, from the one, two, and three, they changes to phrase already. From the one, there's a gas, high pressure, high pressure. Ah, sorry, high pressure, high temperature. After that, they compress until they go to condenser. Condenser, they change. From the gas, the condense become the liquid. So this one liquid still high pressure. Lah. When they go up, when they go up, pass through the expansion valve. Expansion valve is a small hole. They let it to go in to the evaporator. When they just go in the evaporator, evaporator will convert back. Convert back the gases, become the liquid. Then this one liquid become low pressure okay now we need to start to freeze lah, because low pressure already so now we need to see part four part four is a freezer part okay part four freezer in the evaporator there's a freezer cooling agent just now cooling agent go back become liquid okay then the evaporate and also absorb the latent heat from the inside refrigerator. So that means just now they become the gas, now freeze. Okay, they want to start to freeze. So cooling agent now in the liquid. Okay, they go in, they cool down already. So they become liquid. So after that, evaporate and also absorb the latent heat inside the refrigerator. So all the gases just now, they want to absorb the latent heat. Okay, absorb the latent heat, then they become the liquid. Okay, gases already. Ma. Gases, you want to absorb the heat already. Okay, absorb the heat, after that, you become the liquid. So now, <clears throat> all the liquid will go where? All the liquid will go back. You can see this one, the coin, they're turning, 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 until they want to go back. Okay, so from here, you can see number five, cooling agent. <clears throat> Actually, we're using Freon, uh, the cooling agent, the chemistry uh, material. We call it as a Freon. 
cooling agent now in gas flow out from the evaporator to compressor. So actually, it's an evaporator freezer <coughs> cooling agent. Then evaporate and also absorb the latent heat from the refrigerator. Important, they want to absorb the heat. Okay, absorb the heat from the cooling part. Freezer normally is a cool, is it? So that means the heat from here all will go up. Go up until to the evaporator coil, then it absorb all the heat. So from here, you can vibrate the part. This one, that will cool down because all the heat already absorbed by the agent. Okay, just now the cooling agent. So now the cooling agent, they can flow back, come down. Then after that, go back to the compressor. So important, you know the process is from the compressor, produce the gas go up. Okay, when it just go out already, the gas that will absorb the heat. Okay, absorb the hot heat, then they flow back to the compressor. So that means you find the refrigerator behind is very hot one. Okay, behind is very hot because the heat is a release, ma. but inside all the heat already absorbed. So there's a cool down. So this one is a process for the cooling refrigerator. So remember the agent what we're using, Freon. Okay, we're using is a freon gas. Okay, then we continue to the next part. <clears throat> okay, next part is you need to prepare calculator already. Okay, calculator. Huh? Okay, solving problem. Okay, solving problem. We got number one solving problem. Okay, now the figure they show about 480 watt immersion heater used to melt the ice in the container. 120 seconds. So the reading of the electronic balance decreases by 0 0.172 kilograms. What is the mass of the ice that has melted during the heating periods? So they ask you when they just melt, how many mass already melt? So you can see uh, electronic balance decreases. Actually, this one already is an uh, ice to melt. Because you see, they say after 120 seconds, the reading of the balance, they will drop. Okay, they will drop. So that means some of the ice already melt. Then after that, do you can see one of the tube? Huh? This one tube let the water to flow out. So that means water already flow out. The mass of the electronic balance that will drop. Okay, because you melt already, the water is out. So the masses become drop. So they ask you what is the mass of the ice? Actually, that's the same. Okay, same like the reading from the electronic balance. So from here we can say mass of the ice melt equal decrease in the reading of the electronic balance so the answer should be the same there's a no changes okay unless they never put the tube lah. if they never put the tube that mean your water and also the ice is together okay so now we go to b b you need to do calculations okay calculate the specific latent heat of the fusions so it's the same thing. Formula is the same. You want to find LF. Okay, LF is how many? Then the power you know, the time you know, then the mass. Mass is a decreases mass. So we just apply all the things. Okay. So for here, I just any student can answer me. Okay, because I, I just left about 10 minutes. Okay, so any student can type the answer here. Then I can continue to go faster. Okay, anybody? Okay, for the latent heat of fusions. Latent heat of fusions. Okay, yeah, Sinan, give me 3.35, ah. Huh? Okay, we're going to check. Okay, normally the fusion is a power of 5. Lah. So if you find the power of 6, that one is a verbalization. So we go to check the answer. Okay, 3.35 times 10 power of 5. Remember the unit joule per kilograms. Okay, this one is a straightforward. We go to apply. Okay, now we need, I want you to see the second question. Second question, eh? a little bit uh, more step. Okay, you see from here the question too long already. So we st still need to understand. Huh? 
what is the amount of the heat supply they want to find the heat okay buy the water heater to change 0 0.75 kg of the water at 30 degrees celsius to the steam uh, you can see this one they got more step from the water they want to change become the steam and also you can see the temperature changes so that means not only for latent they also for capacity they need to mix you know so from here they ask you to assume um make sure in your calculations state the assumption uh, you make in the calculation the assumption sure we assume no heat loss law if got heat loss we cannot do any calculation because we cannot put equal so from here the assumption is no heat loss after that they give you specific latent heat and also specific capacity so from here we need to write info info is very important so we just write the mass 0 0.75 kg okay the masses Okay, later, if you find capacity, you need to find the changes temperature. That's a 70. Okay, now they give you capacity for the water, 4,200. Latent heat, verbalization, 2.26. Okay, how to do this one calculations? Okay, I go to show about the diagram. Okay, actually, no diagram. Huh? You need to draw by yourself. Huh? Okay, so first round, they say water. So this one, water is 0 0.75 kg. 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. Then after that, we go to boil. Boil the water become the steam. So this one steam later sure is 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. So we assume the mass also same. No changes about the mass. Okay. They not yet boil become the gas. The water still there. Okay. So from here until the last part, uh, later last part, this one is 0 0.75. Water 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, when it just before boy, before boy, yeah. So before boy, that means before boiling, there's still water. Okay, when it just still water, actually we no changes for the phrase. Can you see water to water? Then the temperature changes. We cannot at the same time you change temperature and also change the phrase. No, either change the phrase, either change the temperature. So if this part water, I can straightforward go to steam or not? Actually cannot. If you actually go to steam, then your temperature cannot change. Is it 30 degrees Celsius? Where got the steam, the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. So that's a not logic. So what we need to do for this part, we go to change about the temperature first. So the phrase keep same. Water to water, 100 degrees Celsius. Water, 100 degrees Celsius got or not? Got. The water on the way, they want to change about the uh, gas. Lah. So, there's still 100 degrees Celsius. So, from here, I change the temperature. So, the next round, I sure go to change about the phrase. Okay, next round is I change the phrase. They become gas. Okay, so when it just become the gas, the mass, we still get it. That's the same. After that, they become the steam. So, you can see water to steam. Okay, the phrases changes. Temperature, same. So from here, what uh, formula we need to use? Q equal ML. So the MC data, this one is ML. So now you need to combine the process to find what is the total energy you go to use to heat the water become the steam. Okay? So from here, I continue. Huh? Okay, continue for this one diagram. Okay, so when starting, you need to understand you only can do one calculation. You cannot say MC data ML together. So either one, the first step, you need to think about the logic. Water to steam, temperature 30, sure out. Water to water, phrase constant, then the temperature changes 30 to 100. Okay, that one is logic. Okay, second phrase. Uh, I want to change become the steam. Okay, when it just changes become the steam, then your phrase already changes. Your phrase changes, that means your temperature must be keep constant. So from here now, your steam become 100 degrees Celsius. Then I stop already lah, because the question, they want to change water to steam only. So I stop, so I need to do the calculations. So my calculation is amount of the heat is how many? Q1 plus Q2. Q1 is how many? MC data. 
Q2 is how many? ML. So I just put it. MC theta plus ML. So the mass is the same. 0 0.75. Okay, so I just write. 0 0.75. Okay, C. C is what? Specific heat capacity for the water. From the question provided, 4,200. So I just put. Okay, data is what? Data is a changes temperature. Okay, now changes how many? 100 minus 30, so 70. Okay, then you plus. Plus what? Plus about the ML. M still the same, 0 0.75. L is what? L is a latent heat of verbalizations. So 2.26 times 10 power 6. Okay, after that, you need to get the final answer. Okay, remember... <clears throat> be careful when you press your calculator because the calculation is too long already. Don't straight forward. Type in the calculator after that equal. You need to do step by step. You do the first part, okay? Then you equal first. Then you go to plus. Uh, better you put the bracket lah. You put the bracket is more safe. Okay, so anybody can answer this question? I only got three minutes. Okay, anybody can answer this question? Okay, anybody or not? Okay, actually, I already show you the Google form. Eh? So later, I will tell you what's the code for today's code. Eh? Okay, <clears throat> okay, yeah, from the Sabrina, 1.9155. Okay, we go to get it. So we plus together, eh? Okay, you can write in soft uh, two decimal point also can. You can write full. So from here, if I change become the standard form, there's a 1.92 times 10 power of 6 joke. Okay, so this is a one of the questions normally they will ask. Lah. Okay, because more complicated. Okay, they less to ask you about a simple question. They want you to think about the calculations. Okay, so this is a one of the questions. Okay, we call, we can see some of the question about the structure. Okay, figure they show about electric steamer. Explain how the food is heated. Okay, we're going to see uh, the water has large specific latent heat of verbalizations. So we just uh, write the just now explanation. This property enables the steam to be used to cooking by the method of steaming. Okay, they used to steaming. So from here, when the steam, they just condenses on the food. So latent heat is released directly. Go where? Go to the food lah. Enable the food to be cooked at faster rate. So you must take, you must mention about water is a large specific latent heat of verbalizations. Then you need to mention then the steam they need to condense become the liquid. Okay, when they just condense become the liquid, they release the heat. Then you must say release go where? They will directly release to the food so the food can be cooked faster. Okay, then we go number four. Ah, number four is a one of the calculations, same like just now. Ah. So this one, we need to understand the question. So release, okay, release the when 0 0.8 kg water, water ah, at 25 degrees Celsius, they want to cool down. Water cool become ice. Okay, they want to freeze. They want to freeze the water. So from here, they give you three specific. Uh, you can see this one sure is more thing we need to do. Lah. Okay, we show the info. Okay, I go to fast forward. So later, if you not understand, you can play back about the, this video. Okay, so I show about the diagram. Okay, 0 0.8 kg water. When starting is water, 25 degrees Celsius. So the first round, you tell me you want to change the phrase. Or change the temperature. If you change the phrase, that means you straightforward change ice. Then your temperature 25. Where got the ice got temperature 25? What is it? So that means change the phrase is wrong. We cannot straightforward change the phrase. Okay, we go to change temperature. So change temperature means water, still water, zero degree Celsius. Okay, water under zero degree Celsius. Okay, I still can accept it. Because the water is on the way to freeze. Okay, on the way to freeze, there's still water, but the temperature already dropped, becomes zero degrees Celsius. 
Okay, so the first round is chain about the temperature. Lah. Okay, then we continue. After chain temperature, sure, chain the phrase. So now water chain become the ice, zero degrees Celsius. Okay, not yet finished eh? because your question, they want to drop until negative six. Okay, negative six, there's still ice. So from here, I continue to cool down. So the ice and ice, but the temperature drop become negative six. So the process is like this. Now I need to add the formula. So the first one, what formula? MC data, because you change about the temperature. Okay, number two, sure, is a latent heat of fusions. Okay, number three, change about temp. Uh, sorry, uh, second one is change about the phrase. Number three, you change about the temperature. So MC data again. Okay, but the C is a different. Uh, you can see, be careful because C for water, because C for the ice. So that means you need to do the calculation is at all the things. Amount of the heat is what? Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. So the calculation is very, very long. Eh? So from here, we need to put 0 0.8 times 4.2 times 10 power 3. This one is a capacity for the water. Then temperature changes 25. Okay, after that, latent heat of fusions. 0 0.8 multiply latent heat of fusions. Plus, again, last one, MC data. 0 0.8, C is how many? C is a capacity ice. So we just copy from here. Okay, six. Some student will ask, why didn't put negative? Why you never put the negative? Okay, remember, for the temperature, we don't have any positive and negative directions. Okay, negative changes, that means we just find the changes. Zero to negative six, the changes is a six. Okay. We never put the negative one. Okay, from here, final answer. Okay, Sila, give me the final answer. 3.6 times 10 power of five. Okay, yeah, power of three only. If I get power of three, you get power of five. Uh. Okay, I also do know which one should be correct. Uh. Okay, see then better go to check. Okay, because I don't waste, don't want to waste the time. The student, you help me to check the answer eh? because I'm not sure which one is the correct one. Okay, so from here, anybody can give me another answer? Is it the answer both also different? Okay, I go to press now. Eh? You also need to show me. Okay, power of three, I think a little bit problem, is it? So anybody, Sabrina can do or not? Okay, got others or not? Only Siliang. Okay, the time is uh, coming soon, finish. Okay. Anybody? Okay, power of five. Yeah, see them correct lah. That means okay, both also get the same answer. Eh? So I go to change my answer from here later. You miss uh, miss up. Okay, I change back. So this one is the final answer from the Sabrina and also Siliang. Okay, 3.08 times 10 power of 5 joke. Okay. So this one is a calculation like this. Lah. So hopefully the student understand. Okay, so that one should be the last one. Okay, the student, remember what you need to do. 4.3, the practice. Okay, copy the question and answer it. Okay, Google form is today. Lesson code is. Okay, Celia, help me to type. Lesson code. Fusion. F-U-S-I-O-N, capital letter. Hashtag 88. Number 88. Lah. So I go to type here. Fusion, F-U-S-I-O-N. Then you help me to put the hashtag. Uh, hashtag, uh, where's the hashtag? Okay, help me put the hashtag. After that, uh, 88. 88 is a capital letter. Okay, hashtag. Then you help me to put the number 88. Okay, can you see or not? Yeah, correct. Cilian, correct. Okay, yeah? 
So this one is a today lesson code for your attendance Google Form. Okay, don't copy paste. You type by yourself. Don't spacing. Don't enter after. Just write. Okay, because spacing later they just call you wrong already. Okay, so this one is a capital letter F. Fusion hashtag eighty eight for the last. Okay, so every student must be go to fill in. Uh. If you never think, I just assume you are not attend for the lesson. Okay, so from here we finish our four point three. So the next lesson should be four point four. There's a guest law. Okay, so everyone just thank you for your watching. Okay, bye. Do the homework. Ah, uh. bye.